this week on Sailing Wicked. We get settled into boat ownership by squeezing into tight spaces and tackling a few stubborn jobs, but not without seeing the fate of what can happen to a boat on the hard during hurricane season. And finally, we get hauled out. I'm Britt, that's Maddie, and this is Wicked. She didn't always look that good. When we purchased her, she looked more like this. Subscribe to our channel to follow our ups and downs refitting a hurricane damaged sailboat and see what island life is like in the U.S. Virgin Islands. So today we are installing the solar power controller, which is this guy, to our bilge pump and to our house battery bank and our solar power. So when we're not on board and the boat's in the water, it will keep the boat water out of the boat. So this is the bilge pump. This is the float valve. And then... This is secondary bilge pump. Hopefully it works. We're almost done. I left Maddie to finish connecting the solar and the bilge, as I had some unfinished business with tape in the cockpit. So now I'm covering up the compass and the holes where the panels go so that we don't get any further rain damage. I've already cleaned off the adhesive and tape that they had there before, but because of the sun, the tape, it's not, that tape's not meant to be there. Um, you're really supposed to have instruments there, but we don't have any, but um, sun has damaged the tape and cracks, so water is getting into places where we don't want water. So to prevent any further damage, I am placing tape. I'm cleaning the area and placing tape over. So now I'm gonna figure out where to put you. Now that the bilge is working, poles are covered, and the hurricane lines are out, it was time to wait out a long hurricane season. Until the time comes for our experience on the hot. The vlog starts today. The vlog starts today. I'm saying the vlog starts today because... The vlog starts today. Today, as we're letting Mr. at the helm with Maddie. Huh. <laughs> no. It is a good one. You're really good at um, names. Very good at it. Well, I hope you're good at repairing a boat because that's what we're about to go do tomorrow. Arrive at Los Angeles International Airport. Arrive. All right, so this is what we need to bring to the boat. This is just the tools, man. But we don't need to take it to the boat until Wednesday, Thursday-ish, really, because we get hauled out. Wednesday. We get hauled out on Wednesday. And well, it's... we needed to take apart the rudder. Mhm. Mm you know how to do that? Are we gonna look it up before we do it? I looked it up. Gotta see what, what tools I need. So yeah, we have 
at like our sanders our grinders our chargers badass gel peeler that i'm excited to try out until my arms start hurting me and i give up i'm not gonna give up though i got this and then like literally all of our tools like the bags weren't even at capacity but we yeah they were overweight so we had to split them up luckily we weighed them at home well i haven't gotten bit since we've been back we got a citronella candle because me and mosquitoes are one i don't want to be one but they want to be one with me Matt and Papa Edgar because that's what we're calling him on this vlog. You heard me? What? Papa Edgar. That's Pop his name. That's what YouTube is gonna know my Edgar daddy. as. Papa Edgar. Can I give you my wallet? No, my love. Can no I wallet. Give the phone? phone, yes. You need like. Gotta get us right. We're back. So, yeah, last time we were here in November, Matt and Papa Edgar cleaned out the entire starboard side of the boat um there was so much sand and we exposed a lot if not all of the damage and yeah let me show it to you so this is a starboard side of the hull and we it, this was all filled with sand and we had to take apart the the aft bedroom berth this is the bathroom on the starboard side we completely ripped out the toilet we're just going to make this a full-size shower um holding tank and all that there was a sink here but yeah you can see all the cracks that we're gonna have to go through and just repair that's probably we're gonna have to rip that well we'll rip it out from from the outside to see what kind of damage so just in case we don't have to do any further demo on the inside and yeah so all this we are going to be you could see the damage from the outside the boat was completely laying on its side so none of the tools we have are gonna So what are you doing now? So I am trying to release the steering mechanism to the rudder. So when we get hauled out, the rudder can just fall out. You don't think it'll fall out right now? No, I'm, I want to loosen it, not let it fall out. But in order to loosen it, I don't have the right tools. What do you need? A big mammoth jammer. <laughs> Can you show us? Alright, let's see. <laughs> Where are you? So, those four nuts are holding the steering mechanism to the shaft of the rudder. So I need to remove those four, and then I need to remove, let's see it, let's see it. That screw right there, or bolt, it's not a screw, it's a bolt. And then there's the steering mechanism, there's the steering lines. Don't mind the mess. 
that's what we got going on so far. Chica. It's All right, first Home Depot run of the day. Okay. Boat workouts. <laughs> Worn your khaki pants. Yeah, I didn't know. Alright, I'm coming. Time for me to go down after. Lefty Lucy. So this is the post for the the rudder. rudder. Yeah. We'll spare you the rudder drama as mm -hmm. we've got a lot more of that to come in future videos. So this is what we're trying to not have happen to our boat. <laughs> Who knows how long it's been there? Looks like it's been there for quite a while. Huh? It's Wednesday morning and the time has come to haul out Wicked and get some serious boat jobs done to her. Now, neither Maddie nor I know how to maneuver a boat this size, in a marina at least. So we enlisted the help of a few friends on the dock. Anxiety was running high as we were about to open ourselves up to a world unknown to us. We were relying on the help and advice of professionals. But of course, at the end of the day, the responsibility was ours to see this project through. What we thought would be a short two months on the hard would quickly become eight. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. 
don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and sign up for notifications so you don't miss next week's video when we finally jump into boat jobs. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs>